Talking Softball on Cards TV with head coach Sandy Pearsall. I'm Sean Ma. Thank you for watching. It was a big week for the Cards. They took their undefeated record on the line out to Lexington, Kentucky to see rival Kentucky. And, uh, well, the Kristen Austin show uh, <laughs> held through, and you got some great pitching from uh, from Tori and Chelsea to get a one nothing win. Yeah, it, it was, uh, you know, I think we did a lot of things in that game to try to lose that game. Um, we made some very uncharacteristic errors of our team on our team, but, um, you know, obviously Austin coming through with a home run was huge for us. Uh, and, you know, right after that, Katie Keller popped a, a nice base hit and got things rolling too. But it, it, it just was a, a tight game all the way to the end of the seventh inning. And, yeah. and certainly UK was in scoring position to tie it up. And uh, Chelsea Leonard did a tremendous job for us striking out the, the last batter. It seems like that's been a nice role for Chelsea to come into closing games out in a way. She has five saves going uh, into this past weekend. And that, that's something that she seems not only comfortable with, but I guess it's a nice change up from the, what they see in Tori uh, to start a game. Yeah, it's a very uh, different look, and uh, you know she's just been very good at it. And she's um, she's a fighter out there. She she won't give up, and uh, you know, and that's a credit because you know with as many knee surgeries as she has, yeah. it, it shows that she's a fighter all the way, yeah. and and definitely that's what she is on the mound for us. Yeah, the task uh, with the 1-0 win is a 28-0 team going on the road to play DePaul, coming off a big weekend of their own. And uh, DePaul, one of the top three or four teams in the Big East, so a tough task. And uh, you have a doubleheader on, on Saturday, and you split it. And you take yeah. that first loss, and then the reality's there. And we, we've talked off camera. Eventually, you're going to lose one of those games, yeah. and yeah. maybe that's a little bit of a relief for this team. Yeah, I think, you know, we've been obviously feeling the pressure more and more over the last few weeks, and you could tell we're um, tightening up offensively. We're tightening up. And, you know, and everybody's coming after us, and that's a lot to handle. Sure. Uh, game in and game out, and especially for a team that's still relatively young. Absolutely. Um, but uh, you know, we just, we just really credit to DePaul. They came ready. They were fired up, um, and we just were a little flat. And yeah. we certainly did not play well. And they came out swinging their bats very well. And yeah. um, I can't, uh, you know, that first game we we really did did not come to play. Yeah. Um, and we did a little better in the second game, I thought. Sure. You know. Yeah, the cards were down a little bit early and then some late runs tacked on for a 7-1 loss in the opener. But Louisville came back for a 4-3 win in the uh, the nightcap, if you will. And, I mean, that's crucial because it is conference play. And undefeated season, whatever other factors you want to throw in, you got to win Big East games. And when you can pull a few wins on the road, that's yeah. gigantic. Yeah, and it's, it is, oh, you know, DePaul was picked number one. Um, you know, they have a very good team. Uh, they played very well at home. Uh, and so, you know, they did a great job. And... You know, we needed that win, and, yeah. and uh, you know, I thought our team did a great job coming out and and, and swinging the bat, and I think Carolisa did a great job taking the yeah. mound for us in that game. And it's funny, too, because there's adages in this type of game that, you know, one swing can change a series, and, boy, unfortunately, that was the case for you Sunday. You've got a deciding game of the series, first inning, uh, an error, a walk, a three-run home run. You think we got plenty of time to come back, and, yeah. gosh, you just you couldn't find a way to get any offense going. You lose 3 nothing. It was... It was really a pitcher's duel for both teams. I mean, it really, really was. And I mean, um, basically, that stayed as a one hitter until very late in the game for uh, DePaul. I mean, um, Carolisa was doing a great job. And, and unfortunately, uh, Carolisa looked really good, came out, was maybe a little bit of nerves, um, didn't throw as well in the first inning. But as soon as she gave up that home run, I can honestly tell you, she buckled down and she held them. And yeah. she did a tremendous job. And um, same with their pitching, they did a tremendous job. And um, we just just couldn't quite get anything together. We had opportunities. We had some opportunities. Sure. We had runners in uh, scoring position at a key time, and we no outs, runners on first and second. Could not do anything, yeah. not one thing. And it's funny, we talk about the young team. It's not just the position players, obviously the senior and Tori, but uh, you know, Carolisa and Chelsea are, are also very young in, in the perspective of innings that they've pitched over the course of their careers. So a lot of things to test this group, and the tests continue. <laughs> this yeah. is an exciting test, though, and I think it's one the team looks forward to Wednesday night at Ulmer Stadium at 6 o'clock. We'd love to have everybody out there because it's the return matchup against Kentucky. They can't be too happy about taking the loss. I know you guys are yeah. not too happy about your weekend, so should be some fireworks for the Battle of the Bluegrass. I think it will be. Obviously, they had a very good weekend this last weekend at Tennessee, um, so they're feeling really good. Um, we're feeling a little bit roughed up, but we're ready to take them on. And I think, you know, as, as any, any rivalry is, there's always a lot of emotion going on, and I think both teams are very ready. 
Um, and uh, it'll, it's always been, and has been for a while now, a very good and competitive game between the both of us. So I don't expect anything less, and I think our, our pitching staff is ready, and I'm sure their pitching staff is ready for the duel. Absolutely, and it doesn't end there. Uh, we have a holiday weekend, so you guys change things up and play Friday, Saturday, and it's a Rutgers mm -hmm. team that comes to town. I think Saturday's game is now at 11 o'clock based yes. on some travel changes, so pencil that one into your calendar, and then the doubleheader noon and two on Friday. And yeah. Rutgers has given you guys some trouble on the road. I, I think you're probably pretty happy to see them here in Louisville. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're, they're a, a quickly improving team, and they have been over the last couple of years improving. And I think last year was a prime example on, of what they did when they went to the conference tournament. They did a great job. Uh, they, um, they have a very young uh, – they have a freshman on the mound from this year who's throwing very well, uh, another lefty. And – um, lefties have given us a little bit of fits this year, so um, it's interesting. But, uh, you know, again, this is a team that, you know, we need to come out and play well against and hopefully get ourselves a little bit back on track and feeling good about where we are. Yep, 29-2, and two, certainly not a bad way to be, and we look forward to a big week. We hope you join us at Omer Stadium. Best of luck to you and the team, Sandy. Thank you. For Sandy Pearsall, I'm Sean Moth. Thank you for watching. We'll talk next right here on Cards TV.